Good evening. Thank you for joining us on The War Diary. On the 190th day of the war between Hamas and Israel, here are the main highlights of the day at 7.30 p.m. Beirut time. We begin with the situation on the Lebanese-Israeli border. Israel targeted areas including Jezzin, Klimat Tefeh, Taibe, Hula, Ter Harfa, Al Mashab, and Adaisi. No injuries were reported. The Israeli army also opened fire on farmers on the outskirts of Al Abbasiye and Al Majidiye without causing any injuries. A three story house was also completely flattened in the area between Ramya and Betlif. For its part, Hezbollah targeted Rwaisat al Alam, a gathering of Israeli army in the Hanita and Adather woods, a military building in the settlement of Even Menachem, and spy equipment in the Rahib site. An Israeli army reservist was seriously injured in these attacks. In the morning, Israeli army claimed it had targeted a large military complex and a post belonging to Hezbollah in the Rihan region. In addition, the Israeli media reported that four missiles were fired from Lebanon towards the Upper Galilee, causing no injuries. For its part, the U.S. Embassy in Beirut urged caution for its citizens and advised against travel to border areas as well as refugee camps. U.S. citizens in Lebanon were also encouraged to enroll in the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program step for emergency alerts and easier location in case of emergencies. In the Gaza Strip, after withdrawing its troops from Khan Yunus, the Israeli army announced on Saturday that it was continuing its operations against Hamas fighters in the center of the Palestinian enclave. The Israeli army also declared that it had struck more than 30 targets in the Gaza Strip over the previous day. In the West Bank, tensions rose following the discovery of the body of an Israeli teenager who had disappeared the previous day. Several clashes between Palestinians and Israeli settlers resulted in injuries. Israel called on its citizens to leave the situation to the army. The human toll since the start of the war at 7.30 p.m. Beirut time. On the Gaza side, the Ministry of Health has counted 33,686 deaths among Palestinians since October 7. On the Israeli side, approximately 1,200 deaths have been officially recorded by the Hebrew state since the beginning of November 2023, a figure that has still not changed according to official data, despite regular announcements of army killed in the fighting. Internationally, Iran seized a container ship on Saturday, accusing it of being linked to Israel, an act likely to aggravate tensions in the Gulf, as the area regularly comes under attack from the Houthis. The Islamic Republic did not specify whether this action was in retaliation for the bombing of an Iranian diplomatic building in Syria earlier this month. It did, however, promise to respond to this attack in the near future, a threat taken seriously by Israel, which warned Iran on Saturday that it would, and I quote, suffer the consequences of escalation in the region. U.S. President Joe Biden said he expected Iran to take action soon. That's it for tonight's recap. See you tomorrow for another roundup of the situation. Until then, stay connected on our website, www.thisitsbeirut.com.lb, under the section Israel Hamas War, and on our social media platforms. <laughs>